I have really good news for you. You can hear from God. It's true. Jesus said that my sheep hear my voice and no other do they follow, which means if you have a relationship with Jesus, he wants you to hear his voice and be able to follow it. God wants to talk to you. I know this because he talks to me. And hearing the voice of God within your own heart is the best thing on this earth. Driving home from a trip, and I hear that prompting, that heart spark of the Holy Spirit that said, pull off and go home a different way. I rerouted and went up to turn, and there was this little gas station at that moment off to the side in the middle of nowhere. And I just knew I was supposed to go there. So I went over to that gas station, and this is who the Lord was leading us to. Enjoy his How to Do Life with God story. I am so excited. I just stopped at this little gas station. Where are we? Itasca, Texas. Itasca, Texas. And I met Jason. And you've got to hear his God story. Tell us, he has these amazing lip balms and lotions that's all made from just beeswax. Beeswax and, I mean, other, other ingredients, but the beeswax is made here. And so is the, the lip balm. So first, let me ask you, Jason, how long have you known the Lord? Uh, ever since I was little. Okay. My mom wanted me to become a Mormon, but I couldn't do that. I mean, it, just, it didn't stick with me. And then I kind of fell out of it when I was growing up. And then when I joined the Army, it kind of came back to me. Okay. And then it kind of stuck with me after that. So when did you just really know that Jesus is real? I can hear from him in my heart, and I want to have a relationship with him. I want to say my first deployment to Iraq. Okay. Seeing all the kids over there, when uh, see how they live compared to how the kids here live, uh, helping them out, you know, giving them food and water, um, and seeing how their religion is much different. And then you, but then is it at that point that you were, that you just knew that Jesus was real, that Jesus is different yeah. than their religion? Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Um, that's awesome. So tell me, so you came back, thank you, thank you for your service. Well, thank you. And um, so tell me how this came about. Well, I moved into uh, my wife's great grandmother's old house and it had a beehive in it and my wife wanted it out, so I decided to take it out. And uh, I started doing everything like that, started researching bees, and I had all this leftover uh, honeycomb. Didn't know what to do with it. And I started doing more bee removals, getting more beehives, and I kept on accumulating all this uh, honeycomb. And one night while I was asleep, I just dreamed of melting it down and just making stuff from it and I started doing that and it turned out you know I tried candles that didn't quite work out um, the candles burnt but they didn't <laughs> they didn't burn right uh, so I, I had a dream about you know making lotions making lip balms stuff for the skin stuff like that and so when you woke up from the stream because people need people need to know what is it what is the sense when you know the Lord is talking to you, when you know the Lord is leading you, because we have dreams all the time. I, I would, I would have to say it's kind of like a euphoria, kind of like a, like an aha. I call it, I call it the heart spark. Like you just, you feel it right in here in your yes. heart, and it's like this idea, this knowing. It's a heart spark of desire. Yeah, it's it, it's it's a it's a, a passion that won't fade away, won't won't leave. That's awesome. And. I mean, I've, I've been doing it for about two years now, and it's something that I, I've been continuously doing. Every time I get frustrated, um, I get angry. I have PTSD real bad, so the bees help me out with that. And the only way I can say it is the Lord has given me that to actually help out with that. Yeah. Because you have to be patient, you have to be understanding of all that, because if you're not, you get stung. You yeah. get 
mauled by the bees. And um, especially when you're doing removals, when you're doing uh, uh, when you're harvesting the honey and stuff like that, you you got to be gentle with them. Wow. You're gentle with them; they're going to be gentle with you. Even with the Africanized ones, the killer bees. If you're gentle with them, they're going to be gentle with you. Wow. So. That's and it, amazing. And it, it's it's a great experience, and it it's a life. It, it was a life changer because I was I was starting to go downhill mm -hmm. because of the PTSD, and once I got into the bees, it it's lifted my spirits up. And it sounds a lot like the Holy Spirit. How He is a gentleman. And he's gentle. Yeah. And He's a counselor. And He's our Prince of Peace. And just like you have to go in with the bees and be really careful and gentle and to just get this beautiful thing that God put within them. That's how the Holy Spirit works inside of us. He's so gentle, he's so kind, and he knows how to just work with us to get that very, to bring out that thing that he's put in us. Yes. And I'm just, I, I, God will do this for you. This is who God is, right? Yes. I mean, God led you to, to take out bees, and what is that called? The, a bee removal. A bee removal service and then god doesn't waste anything no. and then created this company out of it and so anyway i will put this information up there i bought some he has peppermint watermelon spearmint i have i have all kinds as long as i can find it within with it being all natural i will make it i love it i love it well praise god y'all pray for him and you can go buy his stuff uh, you have it online no, I don't. Well, then you're going to have to come here to the name of the town is? Itasca. Itasca. But it will be online, I think, at some point. Yes, it will be. I, I believe it will. So, thank you so much. It's such an honor. Thank you. To meet you. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to pray for you because God wants to finish up this PTSD. It's about to leave your life. I hope so. I believe it is. We're going to pray. So, love you guys. Did you hear Jason's God story? I mean, having PTSD from the war, moving, removing bees from a house, and then started a company of, of bee removal, which then turned into this therapy to help him learn how to, how to manage that, that trauma. And then God giving him a dream to start making these products out of all of the wax and the honey from that bee removal. God wastes nothing. I'm telling you, God will waste nothing. And not only did the Lord lead me there so I could hear Jason's God story and share that with you because God has a story for you. He has provision and jobs and prosperity and healing for you. After that video, I was able to lay my hands and we rebuked that spirit of PTSD off of his life. God sent me there to see him set free. Glory to God. I'm telling you, God wants to talk to you. And not only does he want to talk to you, but he wants to lead you and guide you, lead you into companies, lead you into provision, and he wants to lead you into healing. And he wants to lead you to bring healing to others. Listen, if you're not doing life with God, you are doing life wrong.